Oh hey, thanks for tuning in again. Today I'm gonna unbox something along with you, something that came to me all the way from Germany. It took like three and a half weeks to arrive and I even got to pay 64 Canadian dollars in customs. But it's here and I'm happy and I don't even care that I had to pay so much in customs because it's something I've been waiting for. Let's get right into this. So, here's the box. I did open it up. Here's a little uh, spoiler for you. It came from fcmodo.de. All right. <clears throat> they even were kind enough to send me a bunch of stickers. I always like these extra kind of goodies, invoices and things like that. And then, Dun, dun, dun. Let's open this up with you. <clears throat> so this is something I've been waiting for for so long and I'll get going back and forth between all the color options. I even polled my Facebook audience asking which color should I go for because I wanted to sort of pick a color for the Blonde on Wheels channel. I just feel like as bikers we tend to default to black right and for ladies generally anything motorcycle related it's either black or pink and i'm like I, it, it's just not me like that pink is just not calling me uh or fuchsia or whatever and i didn't want to be all black so as far as my attire goes so here is something to spice up blonde on wheels I am so, so excited. So, first of all, it says shark on it. And no, don't be fooled. This is not the company that makes vacuums and those kinds of things. This is not the household appliance. Just a fair warning, just in case you were hoping to see, I don't know, a vacuum or something. It's not going to be a vacuum. No. <laughs> so, let's dig right in. You may guess by now that this is a helmet. And this is funny because my previous video was a review of the Senna Cavalry helmet, which I still love and I'm full on planning to use it, but I had to get something a little bit spicier, especially for you guys who are watching this. So let's dig in and let's get this thing out. So here we go. All right. So as all the helmets out there, like they should, it comes in a lovely bag, drawstrings. Oh, and this bag is actually lined as well. So there's like two, um, two layers to it. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I think it's a good thing. So, okay, let me put this on my desk. So I'm not going to scratch this new thing up right away, but this is what I've been waiting for. There's things inside. So this is what they call, I, I need to look it up again. This is called a Shark Nano Crystal Green. That's basically what it is. So that's what this is, Shark Nano Crystal. And the main reason why I got it, there was two reasons. First of all, I wanted something different than black and Tiffany blue, I mean, Every girl loves Tiffany Blue. Every girl that I know anyway. And uh, real Swarovski crystals on the sides. I'm going to make this so that you can see a little bit better. These are going to sparkle like crazy. And this is the other side. It looks a bit different. I'll show you why it looks different. But I mean, hello. <laughs> this is so fun. Well, and there's technically one more reason why I want it. Something that covers my face more. Um, I generally tend to have a bit of an issue with full face helmets. I tend to get a little claustrophobic. I, I don't know, my brain goes crazy. I start having a hard time breathing, all those things. So, but this one is kind of a happy medium in a way that it is, it's, it's technically not the full face helmet. It just has a full shield on the front, 
but it doesn't have like the hard thing around the chin. So, you know what, let's take these stickers off so we can see things better. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it says that it has a five-year warranty. This is cool. I did not know that. And it says something about easy fit as far as eyeglasses go. Sometimes I do wear eyeglasses, but I really don't need to, but that's good to know. So this is what it actually looks like. Sorry, I know that you guys are seeing the round ring light that lights up this room right now, but this is what it looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so let me put this on, or let's take a closer look before I put this on. So in order to open this up, I, I was watching videos about it, so you're supposed to almost lift the shield a little bit away from the edge and then you should be able to push it up. There we go. And it goes all the way up. That's what it looks like otherwise. And uh, why I'm also really excited about this one is, oh, I think I'm, I totally kind of lost my train of thought there. So why I wanted something that covers my face more is because my open face helmet is impossible, like you can see from one of my first videos, as far as sound quality goes. Even if you have microphones and things close by, like it is really, really hard to hear. And I do want to bring better sound quality to you guys so that you would stick around and hang out with me. So with this helmet, things should be better. And uh, it is also compatible or it, it is uh, Bluetooth ready. What that means is actually these inside little flaps. Where is it? Okay, maybe I'll open this side up. So the inside flaps actually kind of open up and you can see that there's this round circle area. This part is actually covered with uh, the back side of Velcro, like the fuzzy side of Velcro, so that you can uh, use the shark communication system with this helmet and just wire it right in and um and i know that the microphone that i will be using i will be able to kind of sneak it in between here and um, have it super close to my face so this is one of the reasons why i also got this and um yeah as far as as far as the uh chin strap goes it is actually like a plastic plastic one so this is different from anything else I've had in the past I don't know if I can do it with one finger yes so it's like a quick release plastic strap I think it's gonna be really really quick and convenient better than just like the whatever you call it those ribbon type uh, straps and um, the inside is super super silky soft really really soft and it's amazingly well padded here as well um, I can see that you can remove some of the interior, you can remove some of the lining, but I don't think you can remove the whole thing. Yeah, it's like you can remove portions of it, but you can't remove the whole thing, but that is okay. One more feature here is a vent. Now this vent, you cannot really open and close from what I understand. Oh, you can, gosh. From some of the videos I understood that you can so this also is adjustable but it has no vents at the back so this is completely kind of simple and plain I will sticker it up though so plain is good okay so let me put this on because I want to show you something really amazing that is attached to this helmet so here we go Get the hair out of the way. It's so quiet in here. <laughs> I hope I'm gonna be able to hear vehicles around me as I as I ride. So yeah, quick chin strap. That's super easy to work. I love that. So there's that. Okay. The funnest part that this thing has, which side is it done? Check this out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Dun, dun, dun. I am so excited about this part because you know how sometimes you go in and out of shade and you want sunglasses and then you want to rip them off and all those things. This literally solves 
all the world's problems right here. Um, I haven't actually read up about it to see if it is polarized or not. I have a feeling that it's not. And as a former optician of 15 years, I am kind of picky about polarization. So I'm going to see if there's anything we can do about that. But, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I know I'm going to feel a lot better with the shield down when I'm actually outside riding. Inside, I know that I can't leave it down for too long. See how it muffles the sound too. There we go. And it fogs right up. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. I need to get this up. Oh. But overall, I got the size medium. My head is 57 centimeters around and the medium is perfect. Like it's not squeezing, but it is snug. Like it's not gonna go anywhere should anything go sideways. Fingers crossed that that never happens. But this is the prettiest thing ever. This is obviously not sponsored or anything like that, but I got mine from, mine from fcmodo.de great customer service they shipped it via dhl which was all great uh, i also did see them in stock at chrome burner and then there was one more place i forget oh i even saw somebody selling them on ebay as brand new and color wise oh, gosh i had a really hard time deciding on the color i decided on the Tiffany blue kind of a minty greeny color just because I didn't want to do pink, but it also comes in a light pink. It comes in kind of a tan ivory color, which was gorgeous. It also comes in black and pure white. And I think there was one more color. I think it was one of the previous year's models, but it was like a deep, dark navy. That one was really beautiful as well. If any of you have like a dark blue bike, you would look so amazing uh, wearing it. So, but anyway, so here's a little review for you guys of the shark nano crystal I, I will never remember the name of this oh and this little thing that's hanging here i was looking at it quickly it's supposed to have like an antimicrobial treatment on the inside so no stinky smells and then it had this bag and i'm not quite sure what's in this like what, what this book is so let's let's explore it together it has stickers and graphics and i don't understand what that means it has this, and then it has these round little, it looks like reflective pads almost. Oh, I didn't know that. It says, in order to use your crash helmet anywhere on French territory, you must comply with legislative requirements. Accordingly, you must stick the enclosed reflectors on your helmet. Each reflector must be affixed inside the area shown. However, we also recommend you take aesthetic factors into account when positioning a sticker. Did you know that in France you need to put stickers over your helmets like this? I had no idea. Well, I won't be using them, but who knows? Maybe, maybe one day when I go to France, I'll, I'll need this. <laughs> so this is going to be so much fun. I feel like it is fairly snug, especially around the ears, which I'm not used to with an open face helmet, but uh, but it's nothing that would bother me. So I'm going to actually try this out tomorrow. My husband and I are headed out to the Port Alberni annual toy run. It's a charity event. So I'm really excited to try out this helmet, see how it is on the highway, go support a local charity with some children's Christmas gifts in the process. So if you're out on Vancouver Island and if you see a Tiffany blue helmet. It's probably me, so just honk, just honk, and then I'll know. <laughs> then I'll know that you've seen my video. Anyway, here we are. Oh, oh my goodness. And this is also a great helmet to get some awesome helmet hair, but I am super happy with it so far. I haven't taken it out on a ride yet, but as I said, I'll do that tomorrow. And yeah. I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you posted about how I like it. And as uh, as well, once I get my microphone and everything hooked up inside it, as of right now, I'm literally just waiting for parts to come, the last couple of parts to come for my GoPro setup. Um, this one, I'll, I'll talk more about it in one of my following videos, but 
I'm basically attaching this one to my handlebar. So I've got all these different things happening and I'm going to actually use the wired microphone from this and it's easily detachable from this to my helmet because I, I feel that this is so heavy and I don't want the whole thing attached to my helmet. So that's the reason I'm going to be vlogging with this on my handlebars and then a microphone being hardwired that I have to kind of unplug each and every time. So I'll be doing that until I find a microphone that's actually wireless and that actually works with my GoPro. Uh, this is a Hero 7. So we'll see how it goes, but thanks so much for tuning in. If you know of anyone who could benefit or, you know, who could benefit from this review or anybody who loves sparkles, just send them the link. You just never know. Maybe they'll pick it up too. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.